Oliver McGee is an aerospace uh, mechanical and en a civil engineer, a professor of uh, mechanical engineering at Howard University, and he, he joins us now from Washington. Professor, thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Scott. Um, uh, they mentioned spectral analysis. What exactly is that? Uh, basically, what that is is uh, taking all of the sound point information that you have and run a mathematical model. And what they're trying to do is to extrapolate into uh, all sources of random information of noise that's coming in to do some type of extrapolation as to where was the source of the noise and where what what was the uh, 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 timing of that noise. That's particularly what that it's all about. It's a mathematical model to sort of predict. It's a prediction model to predict tourists in, 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 in the future of an event. Uh, how long uh, could it take for them to, to conduct this analysis and figure out what exactly that noise was? Um, that will probably take them about, uh, I would give them about seven days at the most. Uh, once they find that information, uh, it's kind of like when you are looking at forensics uh, files on television, you see uh, a spectral analysis of voices on uh, a telephone or something like that, and you're trying to figure out the source of that. Uh, you're trying to really figure out, pinpoint what were the tight specifics and drill down very, very deep into the voice recorder to see exactly, really, really pinpoint where the noise is. And some speculations out there are saying it might originate from the cargo bay. So the spectral analysis will point you to that. Now, uh, Oliver, there are a lot of gaps in what we know so far, but from, from what we do know, where is this pointing to? Is this putting us in a definitive direction or not? Uh, it is. Uh, what we've been seeing in the last seven days is sort of a trade-off between aviation security uh, amongst the French and the Russians and the U.S. intelligence versus aviation safety, which is really in the hands of the French BEA uh, uh, crash investigative services, as well as uh, the Egyptians are kind of following through and uh, as, it, as they're their point of the uh, origin of the crash. But when you try to uh, way aviation safety that is analyzing the black boxes to aviation security, which is looking at security that was uh, lax at the airport, perhaps, or any concerns that were when the plane was on the ground, were there any security breaches? You have to blend those two together because international uh, commercial passenger airline tra travel is about aviation safety and security. Uh, and that's what you see playing out right now in the last seven days. A number of airlines have suspended their flights uh, to and from uh, that part of Egypt. What does that say about uh, Egyptian screening? And perhaps not just at that airport, but other airports in the country, maybe? Uh, what we do, what we find out in crash, crash events like this is we learn from it. It's a learning uh, proposition. So we're going to learn quite a bit about when airports are laxing in their security and also so what is necessary to step up in their security. Also, your audience should be very, very vigilant about looking at planning for travel, because right now, if this is turning out to be a bomb event, we now have a very, very strong security breach. So we'll have to be visionary and vigilant as we travel. But I would like to share with the audience that still, we should not fear, fear air travel because there's one in 72, uh, 7,200 a chance of actually dying in an aircraft, according to the National Safety Council. And that's compared to one in 98 chance of dying when you're on the road and, dri and traveling on the highway. So traveling in the air is still safe, but these security concerns give me a pause. And, and I think give quite all of us a pause mm -hmm. because we don't want to have a, a bomb on board. And that is, uh, that is the responsibility of uh, government officials to make sure that these public uh, transportation uh, uh, venues are safe for the, for the traveling public. Oliver McGee, Professor of uh, Mechanical Engineering at Howard University, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me, Scott.